Chipotle accepts crypto. The lights flicker again for Solana. Wax Blockchain raises $10 million for their play to earn NFT endeavors. My name is Ben. This is your nightly crypto news wrap up. Let's get it. It's official. You can now buy burritos with Bitcoin. The Mexican fast food powerhouse Chipotle has partnered with Flexa. This exciting new partnership enables the popular restaurant chain to accept payments with almost 100 crypto assets, including Bitcoin, ETH, Doge, and seven US PEG stablecoins. Now, in a Medium article on Twitter yesterday, at any of their 3,000 US locations, using a Flexa enabled app such as Gemini or Spedden, you can get 10% of your next purchase with Chipotle. I'll have a double chicken burrito bowl with corn salsa and extra guac, please. Just kidding, I don't like guac. Chipotle was the first US restaurant to offer a crypto giveaway. Flex is the same company that made it possible to use crypto to buy your movie tickets at Regal Cinemas. It's like a match made in heaven. Cointelegraph reports that a crypto.com global survey shows that 4% of merchants already accept crypto payments, but 60% showed interest in accepting payments within the next year. Despite being in a bear market, it's great to see adoption like this happening, especially for a network that uses AMP as its token. It might seem like the big new thing now, but in the next 10 years, using crypto to purchase anything, anywhere, will be second nature. Kind of like how checking the charts, second nature for Frankie Candles. Let's see what they got to say. Thanks, Ben. All right, guys, let's jump in here and do a little market watch. We've got Bitcoin coming in at 30,600, finally getting a little pump here. We've kind of just been in an ascending channel this entire time, but finally making a little bit of a move here. Ethereum coming in at 1840, top gainers, ICP up 26%. Might be time to short that thing, not financial advice. Moonbeam up 9% for the day. We got HOT up 8% for the day, STX up 7%, and IO up almost 7%. Guys, like I said, we are getting a little bit of a move to the upside here. I don't know how sustained it's going to be. I was saying on my stream earlier today, the markets have been moving in a really weird way today. It's very indecisive. So we're going to have to see how this plays out. We do have the VWAP coming down on the daily chart. So that does typically bring us down a little bit. But like I said, the price action has been weird. So be ready for anything. If you guys are interested in learning about TA and trading, you can find me on YouTube at Frankie Candles or at Frankie underscore Candles on all socials. Back to the news. Thanks, Frank. The lights flickered on the Solana blockchain yesterday and has a lot of people worried considering it is the 12th disruption this year. According to Solana's uptime tracker, three of those 12 were major outages. Yesterday's four and a half hour crash resulted in an 11% downswing for Solana, who's down almost 85% from their $260 November all-time high. Solana dev Richard Patel tweeted, Today, the Solana blockchain stopped. This commit leads to speculation that the durable knots feature contains a DOS vulnerability that has caused nodes to disagree, breaking consensus. Durable transaction knots is a mechanism that addresses the short lifetime of a transaction block hash. In layman's terms, Finbold reports the outage was caused by an overload on the network due to the flooding of bots on the blockchain throughout the blackout. To fix the problem, validators had to restart the network with that specific feature disabled. This is not at all a good look for Solana. One crash is one thing, but 12? It's also been noted that the drop in demand for Solana FTs can be attributed to their sudden drop in price. Charles Hoskinson trolled Solana on Twitter by sending a link to a video on how to get your old video games working again. Good morning, YouTube. Solana co-founder Anatoly Yakovenko clapped back, but this is a family show, so I'm not going to tell you what he said, but keep in mind. Cardano has never crashed, not even once. Bad timing, man. Worldwide Asset Exchange, aka WAX, coined the king of NFTs, has been making waves in the NFT and play to earn space. With over 12 million users on their carbon neutral blockchain, brands such as NASCAR, Sony, Hasbro, and Mattel all utilize WAX for their NFT collections. One third of all blockchain gaming transactions happen on WAX, and on the 24 hour, 7 day, and 30 day chart on dapradar.com, Top three games are all on WAX. Funded by OKX Ventures, WAX recently raised $10 million to develop their P2E endeavors. WAX CEO William Quigley stated, enthralling gaming experiences, seamless user experiences, and close, user experience. more effective collaboration with game developers will all be facilitated with this initiative. And we look forward to further cementing our position 
as the most multifaceted NFT in gaming studio. If you've had your finger on the wax pulse, you might also know about the games that have just taken off and the games that are about to. A wrestling NFT, P2E Blockchain Brawlers, has recently reached 50K followers on Twitter and their token, BRWL, has been a volatile one to watch in trading. Wax CEO William Quigley also has a massive partnership with Metastars creator Merlin Kaufman called Metagames. Together, they are building the future of P2E games on the Wax blockchain, and the Metasaur game, which is currently being developed in Dr. DMT's lab, will be their first release. Future of P2E gaming is in good hands. That's all I got. Be blessed. Good way out.